But that's something you'd like to hear if you're a Titans fan right now. Tannehill and, and Todd Downing uh, teaming up this year. And we, we know what Arthur Smith meant to Ryan Tannehill and what Ryan Tannehill meant to Arthur Smith. Pro Football Focus uh, recently graded Ryan Tannehill number three on their list. In the season of lists, uh, he was number three uh, for the most efficient quarterback, according to PFF. And he was quoted in that on the Chris Collinsworth podcast, where he said, uh, when Arthur got here, things just clicked. When he took over the play calling, not when he got here, when he took over the play calling, things just clicked. How are there? There's everything is set up for Todd Downing to inherit what he inherited and take it to another level. Now that next level doesn't necessarily have to be yards per game, points per game, but it can be what they do in the postseason as an offense and how they dictate the pace and the, 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 the style of play during games versus their opponent. But how quickly do you think we'll know whether or not that's meshing? Well, let's go back to that, examine the, the quote a little bit first. And we have because, a graphic for this. Because here. when Arthur took over the play calling, things did not just click. Arthur had seven games, I think, of Marcus Mariota. It was six. That were yeah. bad. They got shut out somewhere. They had a second half in, in Jacksonville that was terrible. Yep. Uh, that I think that might have been the end of Mariota. But things did not click. Uh, now, it was more Marcus than it was Arthur. But at the time, there was fan revolt calling for Arthur's head, wondering if Arthur Smith was qualified for the job. A lot of talk about Keith Carter in that period yeah. of time yes. as well. Now, it turns out that it wasn't the coaching that was holding that team back. It was the quarterbacking that was holding that team back. Uh, but I think it's fair, and I got this second hand. I haven't read it yet, but Warren Sharp's preseason book is out now, too, a very valuable resource and a guy with a, a lot of good vision on the league. And I saw somebody kind of referring to it. This is second hand, but I, I'll trust this person yeah. saying that he gives credit, Warren Sharp, more to Tannehill than to Arthur Smith. Now, I'm sure, look, it's co-credit here, and they're both largely involved. But that's something you'd like to hear if you're a Titans fan right now, that, that, uh, that it's more Tannehill than it is Smith, because Tannehill's here and Smith isn't. Um, so sure. Tom, da Todd Downing just plugging in to, to what has worked. That's the thing for Todd Downing that Arthur Smith didn't have. Arthur Smith wasn't taking over an offense that had clicked and that had a recipe. Arthur Smith was taking over from uh, LaFleur, who couldn't get things to work, really, who didn't have the Derrick Henry, uh, who had, had kind of changed his mindset and taken things over. Look, they, they, you can say they misused him, but when they used him, he was not productive like he is now. Mm -hmm. They wanted more of a pass catching back in Deion Lewis. Deion Lewis did not play to the level to warrant it. But I think it's fair to look back at those teams and say, that team that year, and say they didn't have an answer at running back to, uh, to mm -hmm. run the way they wanted to run. Therefore, they couldn't run the play action the way they wanted to run it with Mariota and, and all of that. Tannehill, when he finally got in the lineup, Arthur Smith had to create that offense. So his job was a lot harder and a lot more different than Todd Downing's, which I think is kind of where you're starting. Todd I Downing am. is taking over a very successful, very high-scoring, very yard-productive offense with very established pieces in a completely different Derrick Henry than Arthur Smith had when he started, in a completely different quarterback situation. It, not with a rookie A.J. Brown that you're hoping is good, but with an A.J. Brown who's an established top 10 receiver in the league. Now with uh, Julio Jones layered on top of it, who's an upgrade over Corey Davis. The tight end situation is a little questionable. But, uh, offensive line is solid. This is an offense that uh, Chad has kind of said, like, you can call some bad plays and get some good results with this you town could. if yeah. you're Todd Downing. Yes. So the starting point for Todd Downing is a lot higher than the starting point for Arthur Smith was. He needs to not screw it up is kind of the standard. Look, Arthur Smith needed to grow something.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time Outkick 360 goes live. We are live weekdays, 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, right here across the Outkick network. And while you're at it, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below.